Hey guys, today I'm going to uh, do a video blog on my philosophy I call Spongebob. And basically it has nothing to do with the, uh, with the cartoon show Spongebob. But it has to do, it kind of looks like Spongebob when I get through drawing it. But basically, here we go. Uh, on this planet, Earth, there are 7 billion people. 7 billion people on the planet right this minute. This is 2012. So if you're listening to this or watching this in the future, then it may be um, a bigger number. But right now it's 7 billion people. Of those 7 billion people, every single one of them have a soul, have a mind, and have a body. And basically I call every being this square. This square right here is what I call your box. Your box has four sides. It has a spiritual side. has a physical side. has a mental side. It has a social side. So basically, there you go. You have a spiritual side, a physical side, a mental side, and a social side. <clears throat> These box, this box is every single person of the 7 billion on the planet. So we all have this box. Now, not all sides are created equal. Not all sides have the same strength level. Some people are more strong spiritually, others are more strong physically, some are more strong mentally, and some are more strong socially. Some of us are well-rounded and have an equal amount of each of the four areas. However, the goal is to be strong in all four of these. Now, I put spiritual at the bottom because it's a base, it's a foundation. Spirituality is your belief in God or your not belief in God, I guess, um, depending on what your beliefs are. But basically, spiritual is your belief system, uh, what you believe in. Physical has to do with your person, which is your body. Person, I misspelled it. How about that? person in your environment sorry about that I about almost dropped the camera alright so you have your person and your environment mental has to do with your mind and your mind is not your brain but your cognitiveness so basically uh, mental has to do with your education your memory and your emotions. Okay, so basically we got four sides. We have spiritual, which is your beliefs. We have physical, which is your person, your physical body, and your environment. We have me mental, which is your educational level, your ability to remember, and your emotions. And then we have social. Social. <coughs> is your interaction with all other seven billion people on the planet. And what I mean by your interaction with them is every single person on this planet interacts with you on a status. It can be an intimate, intimate status. Okay, that's your husband or wife or spouse or whoever. It could be a friend. It could be family. It could be a coworker. It could be a colleague. I do not know how to spell colleague. Okay, I'm gonna spell college and see if I can mess it up. Colleague. I know there's an I in there somewhere. Maybe not. I don't know. Colleague. Okay. 
be a customer? A client? Let's see how many I got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Could be a um, associate. It could be a stranger. And stranger accounts for probably most of the seven billion because we don't know everybody on this planet. And then Hopefully you don't have many of these. Enemy. Every now and then some of us have enemies because we don't know how to not have enemies. Alright. <clears throat> this box right here is you. Everybody on the planet has a box. Box has four sides. If all four sides aren't equally strong, then when the pressures of life try to put weight on the box, the box collapses. So, if someone's strong spiritually, but not strong physically, so they're 300 pounds, 400 pounds, they're overweight, and they got diabetes and heart disease, they die early life, okay? Let's say they have a strong spiritual life, um, and, they have, and they're pretty smart, but they don't have any social interaction. They don't know how to get out and how to make an influence on life, so that's not very productive either. Let's say they're really smart, they have a good physique, uh, they're in good health, and they're able to get around, but they don't have strong belief systems, and they don't believe in God, or they don't have a cause or a purpose. Well, that's no good either. And let's flip it around. Let's say that they're, they believe in God, they go to church, they have a spiritual uh, belief system, they have a social interaction, and they're in decent shape but they're dumb as a box of rocks well that's not gonna work in the long run so the best the best of all worlds is to be strong here 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 and here so you have to be strong in all four of those so this is just an explanation of the box or an explanation of the spongebob basically now this box is <clears throat> just a box that sits in the corner it doesn't move far in life without legs on it and this is why I call it Spongebob because I draw legs so here's my legs okay the two legs I'm drawing are time and money time and money makes our society and our world go round time is this perception we have of from the from point of, of starting to the point of finishing we're talking about a timeline in somebody's life basically we're talking about from this point to that point and we say that that is their life and we say this is their timeline so basically here's the day you're born here's the day you die and then here's your life in between now if you live to be a hundred this is a hundred years if you live to be 50 this is 50 years if you live to be 10 or 20 then it's only 10 or 20 years and we say that each one of these, this timeline is represented by days. So this is a day. So hopefully this is today. And hopefully we still have a whole bunch left on this side over here. So we have this day and this day and this day and this day. Basically this timeline right here is a life. Now this timeline, take this timeline and stack up 7 billion of these timelines. Some of them are starting here, ending here, like this. So it's this big blob of timelines. Some start here, end here. And what's consistent is these days hash it. So basically, this is the day somebody's dying. And if that is today, then maybe somebody else is being born today. So that's how timelines look. They overlap. Very much, if you ever studied in uh, science, it kind of looks like frequencies. Kind of weird there. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't know. I'm being funny. All right. <clears throat> well, let's go back over here. Let's say this is today. This is not what's important. We always say, you know, it's not the beginning, it's not the end, it's the dash in the middle. 
Well, it's not even the dash. It is not today that's important. It's this that is important. You say, what is that? Those are what I call decisions or choices.